Hey guys, I'm uh, sewing up this little buckskin pouch and I'm using this speedy stitcher and I thought it'd be a cool little demo. I did a demonstration of this speedy stitcher once before uh, when I made my axe mask with uh, grain leather and with that I had to punch holes but with this buckskin it's pretty soft so we'll just get right to it and the reason I want to show this is because typically you know you would put this in a vise or something to hold it in place but if you're out in the field you don't have the option of putting it in a vise and you can carry this speedy stitcher in your pack in case you need to make some emergency repairs and it works pretty good so that's why I thought it'd be a neat demonstration when I start the first one I come in about an eighth inch in both directions or well, maybe about three sixteenths to a quarter inch and I poke it through into a piece of soft wood push it all the way through and pull that string all the way through the string needs to be about three inch three inches longer than the work you're going to be doing then pull it back and from there we don't need uh, the wood block I just bring it up line it up the best we can here and I space my stitches about an eighth of an inch apart and just hold both pieces and this uh, awl is sharp enough it goes right through that buckskin go all the way through pull it back till you got a little loop pass the piece of string that you started with through that loop make sure you don't tie it in a knot pull it back through and then just pull both ends equally tight it's gonna want to bunch up on you when you pull it tight but don't worry about that just yet push it through, pull it back, pass that through the loop, make sure it doesn't twist, pull it back through, pull it tight, and after I do about three or four of those I'll just take and kind of give it a tug to straighten it out and keep it from bunching up. I'll just go on a little further and I'll show you how I finish it off. And so we're getting towards the end here. Um, I figured I'd show you one other thing with this speedy stitcher. As I work it, I tend to twist this, and it untwists the waxed string. So to fix that, just twist it back up. You may run into that and start having problems. Well, we're just about to finish this. So run that through there. Got about two more to go here. Again, I like to space mine about an eighth inch apart. When I get down to the end, I can't really get a hold of it, so I'll just use that wood to uh, feed it through to get it to poke through both sides. Feed that through there. I think one more ought to do it. I try to use that wood as little as possible because it will dull out that all over time, I would think. And you know, I'm no speed demon with this stitcher. But when I get to the end, just pull it tight. Cut it. And then I just take and uh, 
do two double overhand knots. One thing I'll mention, when I started this video, I uh, wanted to do it by the instructions. And for the, for the Speedy Stitcher instructions, they tell you to leave an extra three inches when you pull that first piece out. But really, I think it's better. I mean, you saw how I struggled at the end to tie that little bit off. If you leave a good six inches, that's what I normally do. I leave like a good six inches. And uh, it's a lot easier to tie it off at the end because you're left with a piece about that big that you can actually uh, get a hold of to uh, tie it off. But it's up to you. I figured I'd just mention that. Another little tip is as you're working, or if you try to pull this out and it seems like it's resisting and it doesn't want to pull out, First of all, look at your instruction manual and make sure that the piece that you've got going down, because you bring this string out of the bobbin, you wrap it around this pin, and then you need to go underneath this string into that groove or it won't feed properly. But if you have it set up properly and it won't feed, you may just be getting down to the end of your... Uh, bobbin here that's what happened to me so I just pull this out and just unwind it and then just wind it back on loosely and put it back in there and you're good to go it's just a little quick tip for the speedy stitcher that you know if you have issues with it not wanting to pull out of there easily that's all you got to do is just loosen it up a little bit. Tender. And I stuffed a couple of these hawk skins in there just to fill it up. Just wanted to test it out. I should have uh, I should have put these further down, but that's the learning curve. And to make this, all I did is I made a rectangle that was six inches wide by twelve inches long, folded it in half, and sewed up the sides turn it inside out and then you don't see the stitches and you have a nice little bag that's breathable nice thing about this I'm gonna make another one for tinder I can stuff my tinder in there and even if it's a little damp this buckskin breathes and it will absorb water so it'll help dry out that tinder as I'm walking anyway thanks for watching and uh, thanks for all the comments and support